Hey, this is Jared with Project 3.0. It's day two here at IBMA. I'm heading out of the Sheraton and going to the convention center for the second day of the business conference. So, it'll be interesting to see how today goes. Too many decisions. I was looking at the schedule and there's two different um, events going on at the same time at 10 o'clock. There's a state of the music industry and creator rights and music sync for TV and film. I kind of want to go to both of them, but I was thinking it over and I think I better go to the state of the music industry and creator rights. That sounds the most interesting. I just came out of the RICC meeting. It was kind of a breakdown of kind of the profit that the music industry is making and like the streaming services and CDs and actually vinyls um, coming back as far as a revenue source. It's such a hotbed of bluegrass music for so many decades. Um, it is uh, really great, it gave us a, a great home base to fall on and, and bring bluegrass fans from all over the country, all over the world, uh, to southwestern Ohio each March and November. So thanks to my dad and especially to my wife Santana as well. So thank you all so much. And, you know, as a native of San Francisco, when I discovered bluegrass music, I naturally assumed that California was the hub of all bluegrass activities in the world. Um, I think you'll forgive me when you understand uh, who you're going to be here to perform today. They all share one thing in common, which is deep roots in California. And uh, we're very honored as part of the California Bluegrass Association to be hosting them here in our uh, wonderful event today. Please give it up for Bill Evans, Chad Manny, Daryl Anger, John Reichman, Sharon Gilchrist, Jim Nunnally, the California Bluegrass Reunion. So it doesn't have, it's a crazy story. So I. Nice to see you.
Um, so I ordered one online from Carter, and I couldn't fall in love with the E-string. It just, it just didn't have the tone. It was a Gilcrest. So I actually drove through the night to return it, and then this one I found there. Oh, nice. And so, Good for you. But I just bumped into John Reichman, and he was willing to play my mandolin. And as we were playing, Bela Fleck walked by, which I'm going to see if I can find him and track him down. But. It was such an amazing experience to all of a sudden look up and see Bela Fleck walking by. I've done all the album once about 10 years ago with Andy Lefkoe and Shikori Kili. But I'm glad to do another one. I would love to do that just consider it. You heard it here first, folks. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to pitch the idea for Bela to play on a couple of my songs for my upcoming album. You'll have to stay tuned to see how that turns out. Try.